wave, and we are seeing that the suffocation. We've talked about it quite a bit. Lots of boosts going in favor of Barca at the moment. And yet, Endpoint able to stay alive. Now, 11 shots, or excuse me, 11 saves for Endpoint. And we're over five minutes of overtime. Oh, that could be it. Opportunity is... Virtuoso does make the save. This one's going to go high for place. Follow-up from Devo does go in in the end. Five minutes and 16 seconds of overtime. And we were waiting for that initial hit from Ronicky on target. Flakes, he doesn't even put it in the upper corner. He just tosses it out to Devo. Finally, we get some open opportunity, an open shot for Barca, who had possession almost that entire overtime. Wow. The defense, he gets one play. Here's Kata, but he puts it high. Very with the follow. Hi. Double commits are starting to break out. A long game of Rocket League. The more mistakes you're going to see. Shaw set from the third. Shot blocked by Devo. Up high is Bluey. He has it. And the clear is out. Alpha. The first man for Barcelona. Knocked out. And here's Devo. Again, Barcelona. They've just been hunting everything high on this backboard. Forcing PSG to use a lot of boost. Straight down. Can Bluey get there? Oh, the Bluey! Get in! Barcelona finally shot after shot. They finally break through. PSG can't do it. Barcelona go to New Jersey. And Barcelona making history. The first rival series team to come in and finish top two. We're going to be seeing them in New Jersey. So many challenges that just went the way of Barcelona. All Remco. Scrub Killer had the line, but Remco broke up the play. Speed on the short hop, taken away by Magnus. Now Cooks has Scrub, and Metzenaris has the save, but it's a double commit. Remco landed on the side wall, but he couldn't find it. Magnus in net has the save. Now Cooks back to the corner, looking for the read. He ended up flipping in front. Speed shot right in front of Remco. Cooks, there he is! It's a goal! Captain Clutch! They take series advantage! Cookser does it again, his second overtime winner for Mouse off the rebound. He has zero boost, Remco's in front of him, but the ball was still bouncing and he got underneath it and struck it true. That is how you close out a game. Cookser 97, what a play. Oh no! The opportunity was there. The shot was going in the goal and he falls on it. Possibly another chance. Another follow up. JNAPS fights it off the post and it's out. The luck is not there. The woodwork is unforgiving and we play on. And Chicago has a chance to put it away and that's not going to come to fruition. AXB a booming clear off his back wall. JNAPS might be actually first to it. AXB gets a third touch and Sathu with the help might be able to put this one away. Simpical into the net. Three to two. Almost seven minutes. Space Station get the win they deserve, you feel. Space Station just wanted to play an extra four minutes of Rocket League, man. They're like, let's not play it <laughs> for Let's wait. Let's burn them out a little bit. And now up 2-0 on one of the big three of North America. Chicago trying to prove that he is the difference maker. He can elevate G2 to that number one status they've been trying to be at for so long. And yet here, Space Station Gaming taking two games off of them. And you got to wonder, is a spirit broken? Brick wall, they're straight up titanium steel. And Chassette can't clear this out. They'll be forced to take that midfield boost and still play some more. Almost seven minutes of overtime. Reciprocity owned regulation in the shot department. Overtime, it's been endpoint, especially in these last three or so minutes.
Relating Wave pinches it against the back wall, but he does, or the side wall, he doesn't have it. He'll go for it again here off the back wall. Does he have the shot? Relating Wave scores! And then point take down reciprocity in the first game. Miraculous double tap from Relating Wave. Had barely any boost. Barely any boost, but enough to make that double tap. What a read. Chassette, he was playing defense all game long. He misses the ball. Lethemir on the side will put it to the corner, but Kronobi's now creating pressure and an excellent challenge. The veteran players putting their teams on their back time and time again as we've continued playing here in game five. Absolutely. I was talking about that just a little bit ago. It's been Kronobi and Lethemir, but this time he gets bumped. Tough play for AJ, oh. and he'll have a chance to second clear it. Way to stick yourself to the backboard oh. and row get out of a jam. The wonder got demolished, too. Still not out of it. The woods just yet as Lethemir's shot is a bit high. The wonder gets this one out. Here comes Lucian. Looking for the shot, and he puts it in. Seven minutes and 57, 67. Oh, a lot of time. A lot of time. time. They win game five. They stay alive. We'll go to game six. A monster game for both teams. Stingy defense from Ghost Gaming. Some phenomenal opportunities for both sides. And you said it best, Lethemir and Kronovi. Monsters in the challenge game. And neither of them rewarded on the scoreboard. But Alushin really makes Rizzo take a second thought before he went for that challenge. And it'll slow things down a little. Memory, not the best of touches. This one's still in the box. Jnap's up, but Alushin's there. Now off the backboard, here comes Rizzo. An open net just has to find the target, but it's off the on the line. Memory able to scream across and keep us playing. So we push into eight minutes of overtime, looking for the record. Oh, Jnap's almost got bumped by Chicago. Good eyes on a swivel. Just make sure to get away from your teammate there. Pass to the they top, Chicago Finally. will finish it. Jay Naps with the command right next to the back wall. Eight minutes and 11 seconds of overtime, quite a lengthy one. I don't believe it breaks the record, but it's up there in the record books as G2. That takes them almost three games to win game two, but they now are one away from the sweep. But Torsos is so far away, but he's got Cassio on the wall. Freaky and Torsios oh. there first. Freaky with the punt, it won't work. Now flame through two, Torsas, it's off to the corner. He won't have to play just yet. And now with the saves. Let's go to nine minutes, why not? I'm down for three games. They're in the middle, flame. Sent high, oh my goodness, Torsas up for it. Back down, Sticky puts it away. Cassio could win the game, but Kami has him blocked. And now back in front of the box, Torsos. Oh, Sticky, no! You're kidding! Absolute tragedy for Renegades! Torsos taking his time. He knew he had all the time in the world to get up to it. And his teammate panics and just smashes it into their own goal. Tragedy is the perfect word to describe <laughs> that. You have got to be kidding me! That's how that ended? Oh my goodness! I don't know what to think right now. Veloce, congratulations, they're through to day three. And Renegades, absolute heartbreaker. One they will not be thinking about. They will not forget for a long time. They will, hopefully they'll stop thinking about. Cleanly won by energy, race to the ball and gimmick can't beat Fireburner. Kicks out a neutral direction into the side of the midfield line. Garrett G to the top the and Justin. He puts it onto the backboard, Fireburner airborne, looking to finish the game, sends it towards the back post, and it's saved by Torment. He sends it away, and Squishy looks for the counterattack, flying down the field. Garrett G will pinch it over the top of Gimmick, and Torment has to adjust to keep the pressure on for Cloud9. 11 minutes of overtime, keep Garrett going G. here. Fireburner sends it, and Gimmick will break up the pass play the other way. And Justin now on the catch. This one around the goal with a bump, but he caught the ball a second time. If he didn't hit it, it was for sure going to be in. Fireburner was lurking, but a Garrett. second opportunity is there! Yes! And NRG have secured a third win. And would you believe it? They have to play at least one more game to win the regional championship. They played three just to get game three <laughs> and under the... Oh, my goodness. And finally, uh, it, it just took Cloud9 not being in the perfect spot and a beautiful challenge. But the real MVP of that whole game for the victory has got to be NRG's defense. Cloud9 had a phenomenal press on offense.